Imagine this. You've just finished writing your screenplay. The story is alive in your head. The characters, the tension, the emotions. But then comes the tough part. How do you take what's in your mind and put it in front of others so they can see it the way you do? Traditionally, that means storyboarding. And storyboarding is not just time consuming, it's expensive. You either need to sketch it yourself. And let's be honest, not every writer is a great artist. Or you hire someone which costs money and adds weeks to your timeline. For so many filmmakers and creators, that step becomes a wall, a frustrating, exhausting wall. Now picture this instead. You upload your script, click a button, and a few minutes later, you have a full storyboard laid out scene by scene. Not clip art, not random AI doodles. I'm talking about cinematic visuals, consistent characters, and shots that actually match your story. That's what a startup called Rubber Band is promising. And if they can deliver, it could be a game changer for anyone who wants to bring stories to life. We explore the cutting edge of creativity, innovation, and the tools shaping tomorrow's storytellers. Today, we're taking a deep dive into Rubber Band, a Y Combinator and Microsoft-backed AI startup that's trying to rewrite the filmmaking playbook. So, how does Rubber Band actually work? The process is surprisingly simple. You upload your script, either as text or PDF. The AI reads through it, breaks it down into scenes and beats, and then generates visuals for each moment. But here's where it gets really interesting. You're not stuck with the first draft. You can refine every single shot using plain language. This solves one of the biggest headaches in visual storytelling. Normally, storyboards feel like sketches that only hint at the film to come. With Rubber Band, they start to feel like an actual preview of the movie you're imagining. That changes not just how you plan, but also how you pitch. Imagine walking into a meeting with producers, not with a stack of text pages, but with a visual flow that feels alive. That's powerful. When you first land on the platform, you'll see the option to start for free. Once you click that button, it takes you to the sign up page. Here, you can quickly create your account without any long forms. Simply choose the option to sign up with Google. After choosing your account and granting permission, the system automatically sets up your profile and logs you in. Within a few seconds, you'll be inside the dashboard, ready to start creating your first storyboard. This is essentially your starting point to create your very first storyboard. The interface is super clean and simple. No clutter, no distractions. On the left side, you can already see a preview of what a storyboard might look like. These black and white frames give you an idea of the kind of cinematic sketches the AI can generate from just a script. It's basically showing you this is what's possible and this is what you'll be working with once you upload your own story. On the right side, you'll see a big bold heading that says create your first storyboard. And right below it, there's a button that says storyboard my script. That's the main call to action. When you click that button, you'll be prompted to upload your script, either as text or as a PDF. From there, Rubber Band begins analyzing it, breaking it down into beats and scenes. Once you're inside the platform, the first step is to upload your script. You'll see options to either drag and drop a PDF or FDX file, or you can paste your script directly into the text box. This step feeds your story into the platform so it can start generating storyboard scenes for you. After uploading your script, the next step is to choose the visual style you want for your storyboard. You can select from preset styles such as illustration or noir, or if you want something unique, you can upload 1-3 reference images to create a custom style. This is where you decide the overall look and feel of your storyboard, whether you want it hand-drawn, cinematic, or something completely your own. Finally, you'll move on to the customization stage. Here, you can refine your storyboard by adding reference photos for characters, adjusting the look of specific scenes, and polishing the details. Once your initial storyboard is created, you can always go back and edit shots until you're satisfied. At this point, your storyboard is ready to use, share, or continue refining as your project develops. After picking your style, you'll move into customization. Here, you can refine your characters by uploading reference photos, adjust the look and feel of scenes, and polish everything to your liking. Once you're happy, the platform generates your storyboard shots, and you can go back to make edits if needed. Once the script is uploaded, the platform automatically begins breaking it down into shots. On the left-hand side, you'll see your script exactly as it was written, and on the right-hand side, the system starts generating visual frames based on the descriptions. 
At first, some frames may show as processing, but very quickly, they begin to populate with images that match your scene. In the second stage, each shot is refined with descriptive labels. For example, a close-up of a car tire crunching on gravel gets annotated as a shot with added details like extreme close-up, tire crunches gravel, mist swirls around wheel. Similarly, headlights emerging through fog are tagged with clear shot notes, so you know exactly what type of camera angle and mood the image represents. This helps translate the script into cinematic language. Finally, the storyboard organizes itself into a sequence. Wide establishing shots, close-ups and detailed shots are all arranged together to visually tell the story of the scene. You end up with a clear, structured storyboard that matches your script, complete with scene headings, visual cues, and production-ready shot descriptions. This gives filmmakers, writers, or creators a professional storyboard without having to sketch or draw anything manually. Now, let's talk access. Because at this point, you're probably wondering, is it affordable? There's a free tier, which lets you try it out with a handful of scenes each month. It's limited, but enough to get a feel for what the tool can do. Storytelling more accessible. If you're pitching a film, teaching a class, or just experimenting with a short story idea, this tool saves time and opens doors. And for professionals, it might free them up to spend less time sketching and more time designing the heart of a scene. So, is rubber band the future of filmmaking? Maybe, maybe not, but it's certainly pointing in that direction. When I look at where the industry is heading, I see AI not as a replacement, but as an accelerant. Tools like this give more people the ability to create, and that means more stories, more perspectives, more voices. And isn't that what we really want? So, what do you think? Could you see yourself using AI to storyboard your next big idea? Do you think this democratizes filmmaking? Or do you worry it waters down the craft? Drop your thoughts in the comments because I want to hear how the IdeaPlex community feels about this. And if you found this breakdown valuable, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to IdeaPlex, and turn on the bell so you don't miss the next deep dive into the future of creativity. Until next time, keep creating, keep imagining, and keep building your IdeaPlex.